and zero. Hi again, everyone. I'm back. Rito Solo 21 or Rob Delowski. And I'm back today, guys, playing some more uh, Internal Sunter. Uh, oops, I may. Uh, as you saw at the beginning, I may have done a little mess up, but uh, don't worry. Got it right now. I am hearing things, right? Yeah, I got things now. I can hear things now. My goodness, Polka. A, a light moon glaze is, is part of the daily routine. If I can see the stars, the next day will be sunny. If I can't, well, then it, it'll be rain. Oh, okay, I didn't know that. Evening, Polka. Would you like to... Would like some too. A cup of fluorine tea. The night will wind will make it a com combination. Ah uh, no, I'm going. I'm good. I'm gonna go to the forest with uh, Frederick. Because in the last episode, um, I totally forgot to talk about it. Is we met, we meet Polka, main main character, uh, main girl, I would say. <coughs> um, we met Reddo and Beat, who live in the city. Polka, well, she has a. Uh, she knows healing magic, but so-called, everyone calls it a disease, even though it's not. <coughs> and my throat is still bugging the hell out of me. Yay. My throat's been bugging me so much of late, it's just like, ah. Uh. So yeah, um, and then we met Frederick at the end of the episode, so yeah, um, here we are, episode two, um. You and. foolish creatures. Oh, we get Frederick with us this time. I'm sorry. Oops. Damn it. I'm failing. Pew Grave. Got him. Continue your sleep. What level is Frederick by chance too? Oh, uh, level one. I had a feeling about that. Poison wood cap. Uh, to poison enemies now. Yay. Just watch this. Did I get a sneak attack? There is no way for you to stop my relentless advance. Nice. So I, it looks like I'm breaking the system a lot when I get hit zero seconds. I'm still attacking and then hitting a special. I guess it's just by chance I'm getting it. You dare to bear your fangs? Uh, three enemies. I think there is. And now did not defeat him. Rest. Now he's got to walk all the way around to. <laughs> so is he? He's gonna walk all the way around, and then he's gonna go attack Frederick, right? no way for you to stop my relentless advance. Well, beat him that time. Good. Level up, Polka. Level 3. Magic 27, attack 21, defense 17, and speed 16. <laughs> Frederick also leveled up. Attack 20, defense 17, magic 21, and speed 14. I got a lot of points in the magic department right there for him. Uh, I... Oh, chest, sweet. How pitiful, you soulless creatures! Orange glow. Do a little heal up. Pew grave. 
Wow, gone still. Rest. Nice, Pipoka. Wow, that was a lot of XP we got from them, like those two. And then we get a chest. Angel tr Trumpet. I guess there's nothing this way, so let's uh, go back the other way and head down the other way. We'll head this way and see what we find. Nothing. Okay, so that was a path in that led nowhere for right now. How pitiful, you soulless creatures! Shade Comet! Nice poker. Boom, nice. Now day. you will rest. <laughs> wow, nice big 120. I think the volume's a bit high when I'm playing there or saying. Let's turn it like right down. Level up, Poker level 4. Frederick level 3. Wow, his magic's just going up. Is it not that way? Where am I going to die? Okay, it wasn't that way. It was this way. We are going to go see the night glows, I think that's what she said, Polka said. If I remember correctly. Oof. I am not going to lose this battle. Did I not get a surprise attack? If I didn't, damn it. Orange glow. At least a little heal. Damn, got him. Now you will rest. Damn it. Nice, Poka. Got to find him. Frederick's almost about to level up again. I'm fine with that. I want to say it's this way, but I. How pitiful. You soulless creatures. Doesn't cost anything. Pew Grave. Now you will rest. Nice. And Frederick's on level five, uh, four. <laughs> Yeah, he's getting a lot of magic. His magic and attack are pretty much even right now. Uh, is this the way, or is this to a chest? Walking... Oh, what is that? A weapon? A new weapon? Or still? Um... Oh, I got a saber and a new... Button. Okay, um... Party level, status, items... Oh, you gotta click on the person. So this can improve the attack by two, actually. That's fine. So, oh, okay, so these are the moves that you get with them. Okay, so you can say, oh, I won. Okay. So Frederick and Polka are so far healing, uh, healing when they're in the light. But in the darkness, they can do a special attack. You foolish creatures! Did I get a sneak attack? I did somehow. Oh, bye. Pew grave. Continue your sleep. Frederick just laid waste to him. And Poke is almost leveled up too. Uh, uh, is this the way, or am I? I don't know. I want it. Before I go there, I want to see like. Actually, I think this is the way. And this is a secret, maybe? I don't know. Well, we'll see. Okay, you didn't see me, so um, I'll just head down here. 
pick up this chest, and then I'm going to fight you and get Polka to level 5. You foolish creatures. How many am I facing? I'm facing two. That was a little overkill. Rest. I'm sorry. Do not be ashamed. Oka, level five. Magic, wow. 35 magic, 29 attack, 23 defense, and 22 speed. I will say that I I do enjoy this game still, like I said before, and and I am fighting pretty much pretty much most of the enemies just because it can help out in case of emergencies just watch this. for later in the game, because there could be tougher enemies. <laughs> Do I know if people were to, other people like I know there's some people that probably wouldn't show all these fight scenes and all that. Me, I leave it in because it's just the way I am. There is they no usually just leave everything in it because I would lend this advance. I not the greatest with editing and all that, but that's just me. Uh, I guess nothing over there. Chest here. Copper necklace that probably help with defense. I'm guessing. Poke, uh, right? Uh, defense by two. That's fine. Poka gets it because she can hit. Probably things will probably want to attack her first since she's. I don't think I did, but I guess I did. So I will take that. Damn! Almost defeated him. Nice one, Polka. Grave. Now you will rest. There. Got another angel trumpet. It's a frame of mind, you see. Frederick level five, and now he has more magic than attack. But that's fine. Save. I want to go down the first, just to fight this. Let me buy, okay? <clears throat> just in case I have to fight a boss. Grave. Now you will rest. So I will say I actually did not know the like the. Do not be ashamed. Let's just say that, like, hitting the special just before the end, or like right at the end of a combo, till like a bit further in the game, then I was like, okay, maybe I should start doing this because this can help. Because actually, further in, I started getting those worst uh, new things, and they, well, made me had to do, uh, fight a little fast, um, have to plan out my attack faster. Um, this one. I actually had to think about that one. It's like, which one is it? It's this one. Yep, I can't. But you dare to turn your sword Fine, to I'll me. do that. I'll fight you face on. You grave. Now you will rest. Sneak up behind him. Now he's got to run all the way around, and he got lost now. There is no way for you to stop my relentless advance. I do enjoy Frederick a lot because he's, his attacks go fast, just like um, Reto's. Because those two guys can attack fast and quick, and that's why I do enjoy using them a lot. Oh, well, pretty much later in the game, I shall say. Oh, boss time. I have a feeling it's going to be a boss. <coughs> so 
don't know. It's a boar. A wild boar. How pitiful, you soulless creatures. I mean, one, two. Stick up behind you. <laughs> Your side here. Now you will rest. I pretty much guarded way too soon. Oh, that hurt like a lot. I didn't get off in time. I... Damn it. Shade coming. I'm sorry. You grave. Now you will rest. I failed that one. I'm sorry. Wow, Polka, just pretty much light waste though. Now you will rest. Damn it, that was a fail. Fails. Did not to be You will rest. Nice. Oh god. Got the final kill. Okay. Both leveled up. I did it. Polka, level seven. Ooh, look at that magic. 45 now. Good. Uh Frederick. Eh, magic and attack are still close. Coup de gras. Party level two. Oh. <laughs> so pretty much now. So action gauge before stopped at five seconds. So pretty much you have tactical is unlimited. Action gauge is set at five seconds. Special attacks can use as much as you. Special attacks you can use as much as you want during this time. This one now. Movement is now counted in real time, even though it was before, I don't know why. Um, the action gauge will start decreasing after your first steps and will continue to do even after, even, and will continue to do so even ap even when you're standing still. Wait. The action gauge will start decreasing after you, after your first step and will continue to do so even when you're standing still. So pretty much now, Pretty much, once it's my turn, I merely have to go. Go fast. And I'm fine with that. And you can change it, I think. At some point, you can. But for now, it just stays where it is. <sighs> I guess it's kind of dangerous out here when it's late at night. The animals in the forest never used to be this aggressive before. 
by the way, the question you asked me earlier, you never told me if I answered it correctly. Hmm? Of course, this is all a story I've created in my head. So, there's no way I could possibly be wrong. <laughs> come on, come on, it's almost time. Hurry, Frederick. And she pretty much just dodges the question. Wait. These Wait. These flowers are what I wanted to show you. Flowers? Look at them. They're blossoming. Interesting flowers looking. Oh, they're oh, they're glowing. Oh great, look at that music playing. I gotta take that off because of, you know, YouTube and the copyright thing going on, but that's fine right now. But damn, look at those flowers, mate. Well, I give you guys a hint of what it sounds like, so here you go. Might be silent, but. Oh, okay, I guess you get to the end of it. What? What are they? They're called Heaven's Mirror. They're like a reflection of the starry sky on the meadows. This is the only place they bloom in the forest. At night time, it seems. These flowers never bloom during the day, only at night. I guess I was right. When the sun is up, they stay in their buds, but they're able to absorb sunlight with their leaves. Oh. And after night falls, they let out all the light they've stored when they blossom. It always happens at exactly two o'clock in the morning. They're beautiful. Absolutely stunning. It truly is a wondrous sight. So she's been up for two o'clock since two o'clock. Death lights. Death lights? The sun brings life, but the dark brings death. And these flowers bloom in darkness. So darkness is evil, light is good. Ooh. Whether you want to call them heaven's mirror or death lights. That's up to you, Frederick. Okay. But I guess, these days, pretty much everyone has taken to calling them death lights. Oh. Long ago, it was thought they looked like the light that guided people to death, since they blossom the opposite of regular flowers. Even now, a lot of people don't like these flowers. To many, they're still considered a bad omen. That's also how they think of me. Wow. Shots fired. Frederick, you said before that this whole world is all just a dream you're having, right? Not in a mean way. If this is your dream, and you can be so positive that what's happening is just a dream, how can you tell which is the real world? If what you're experiencing in the dream is that realistic to you. And to prove my point, you didn't read my mind earlier. Ooh. You were wrong. I was thinking about leaving Tenuto. I want to go out into the world and live my own life. Even if that life only exists inside your dream. I don't know how much time I have left to live, but I want to live what's left of my life in a positive way, bringing happiness to others. I just want to help people somehow. Like these flowers, even though people call them death lights, they still blossom and struggle to live on. Oh. You're going to leave the village? But where do you intend to go after you leave Tenuto? I'll go to Forte Castle. And then I'm going to meet with the Count. 
to ask about the taxes on floral powder. Why are they high? Because right now, they're hurting everyone in the village. Oh. You know, you should be happy you couldn't read my mind. Since you can't use magic, it means you don't have an incurable illness. Please, stay at my house tonight. I'll tell my mom you're coming. You're a guest in our dream world, after all. That's not something that happens every day. <laughs> wow. She is just toying with him. A flower that resembles you. A bad omen. Death lights. Hmm. Maybe. All we know is when we find out. Oh, we're back in... I can't even pronounce the name. Straight up, I'm sorry. I can't pronounce the name. Back in the town! Townar. Wow, Redo. This is the first time I'm going outside Red Ardondo. Red Ardondo. There we go. It's not like we're going on a picnic beat. Don't get so excited. Yeah, I know that, Reddo. <coughs> We're going to help Red Ardondo's poor by getting the leaders to lower taxes on stuff besides the mineral powder, right? Oh. That way, everyone can afford blankets and cheese and all the honey-covered bread they could ever possibly want. Then everyone can finally be happy, right, Reddo? That's exactly right. Hey, I'm proud of you, Beat. We can't solve things by just stealing bread. We have to uncover the real root of the problem. Yeah, you said it. <laughs> so, uh, where are we going anyway? <sighs> you mean you don't know? Jeez, I take back what I just said. We're heading to Forte Castle to talk to the guys in charge. Come on, let's go. Hey, Reno, wait up. Uh oh, before we leave, we should see how the kids in the sewer are doing. So I have to head back down there, I guess. I don't know. Or do I have to? How long has it been since the virus stopped running? It used to be easy to go. Ever since the pirates started on the Fusion River, their suspicious travel has been because of dangerous. Bornique. Oh, I suppose keep the latest fashions. Uh, nope, I don't want to talk to you because you... Oh, why not? Just see if you know anything. Wahaha, ha, ha, listen to those seagulls squawk. Ha ha ha, wah ha ha. Okay. Did you see my husband? He took my dentals and went off to some place. If you see him, grab him for me, would you? I need to teach him a lesson. He won't... He won't get any dinner tonight, for that's for sure. Uh, maybe. Oh, is this him possibly down here? A uh, single day is short. I'm just saying to you. Hold this. Okay. Pretty tough, huh? Oh, you really need a strong body to be able to run across full speed. He was trying to show me how macho he is by running on the beach, but he looks stupid. I'm guessing that's the way we have to go. So for now, we're just going to go back this way and see if there's anything else we need to know. Or two to talk to. Uh, I guess the boys need to be strong, huh? I mean, my very good sport and all of guess. Okay. Uh, the weather's really is nice. Uh. Oh, this is resin home. Oops, my bad. My bad. Actually, did. Are we supposed to go up here? Huh. Too many d areas you gotta go. Which way to go? Um. 
Doesn't look like nothing over here. Are we going up here then? No, that's the castle I don't want to go to. That leads back down to the sewer. <coughs> so if I have to go back to the sewers, then I'm going to have to go back the way I came, I'm guessing, right? Probably. So I can go see if I can find them and then say, oh, what's this? Stuff that's always been found. Oh, okay, just random stuff. Let's see if we can find those kids actually down here in the sewers. Uh, where am I going? Up, up. Um, new stuff. I guess reading it. Beast collection toys. So not this way then. I. Yes, not? Question mark? Because I'm not going through the whole area just to go see them again. Okay, let's see. Du -du 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 -du. Um. Ooh, Saber does actually a bit more. Nice. Gorbies. All right. Photos, piano, music, options. So I wonder if we have to go through the cave or do we have to go up? So are we not going this way then? Or are we? Oh, okay, it wasn't the right way. Thought it was. Sorry. It's always different where it's at. Cause it's like, is it up? Is it down? Is it this way? Is it that way? Okay. So it's up. I'm guessing it's this way then. Mm, guess so. Okay, you gotta watch yourself, Beat. It's not gonna be the same as fighting the rats in Retardando. I know. Don't worry. I'll take some good pictures. <laughs> pictures. Pictures? Come on, don't waste time on that stuff. You need to help me fight. Hey, that's not nice. Don't say things like that. Taking pictures isn't a waste of time. Fine, fine. You can tell me all about it later. Come on, let's get moving. And there's a reason to that, guys, if you will figure that out a bit. Ooh. Flower's a little poison, I guess. Our goal. A go go forest. A go go forest. Oh, we're back to the forest. Where are we with Polka? Okay, so I guess this is a plan one. Our party level has gone up, and we're getting better at real fighting. So now I'm going to teach you something else that's really important. Okay. Yes. This is the action gauge. Yep. Yeah, I know that already. Come on, just listen. Up until now, your action gauge has only gone down when you're actually doing something, right? But from now on, as soon as you make your first move, your action gauge will just keep going down no matter what. Huh? What does that mean? What it means is that even when you're standing still, time will keep on passing. If you're not paying attention, your turn will be over before you know it, and it'll be your enemy's turn. Uh -huh. What? That's no fair. Fighting like that's gonna be really, really hard. That's the point. Yep, that's right. And that's where tactical time comes in. Tactical time? What's that? 
tactical time is the time you get at the beginning of your turn to figure out what it is you're gonna do. As long as you don't move or attack, you can stay in tactical time for as long as you want. Yes, you can. Okay, so then what you're saying is the tactical time you get is unlimited. And they end up breaking the fourth wall again. Oh, I get it. So when it's your turn, all you have to do is stay standing still. And then you have lots of time to think about what you're going to do when you start fighting. Exactly. One more thing. From now on, the more echoes you build up, the more power your special attacks will have when they hit an enemy. Echoes? An echo is what you get when your hit count reaches a certain number, and they just keep accumulating right over here. Oh, I get it. In that case, we should just use our special attacks all the time. That way, we'll be building up lots and lots of echoes, and our special attacks will just keep getting stronger and stronger because we'll have so many echoes. Not true. It's perfect. We'll be killing two birds with one stone. I am so smart. Yep. Not so fast. Unfortunately, when you use your special attacks, all the echoes you've accumulated get used up. Basically, the power of your special attack increases, but you lose all of your echoes because of it. So, if you want to try and build up a lot of echoes, you can't do it by using your special attacks. Nope. Oh, but how can you ever get enough echoes to use them with your special attacks? It must be really hard for one person to build up so many all by himself. That's right, and that's why we have to work together to build them up. Echoes don't just belong to you, they belong to everyone who's fighting. Yep. But then that means that you could use up all the echoes that I had worked so hard to build up. That doesn't sound very fair, you know. Well, that's the way it goes. Come on, don't say things like that. I'm counting on you, partner. Beat, look over there at that enemy. What about it? How did that happen? It just turned into a completely different monster. There are some monsters that can transform, depending on whether they're in sunlight, sunlight or in shadow. Some will get really strong, and some will even change the kinds of attacks they use. So you gotta be really careful. Mm-hmm. So meaning also that you should always think about, hey, you know, maybe I want to get them to not be a certain one again. <laughs> Now it's healing itself up. Ouch. Did that scare you? Now that's how it's supposed to be. So yeah, you should always try to make sure you always watch that thing too. Like sometimes you can let them increase, increase, increase. But for now, they don't disappear. Later on, they might disappear. So I'm going to go return, return. And then I'm going to go say use a bunch of peachy cookies, a floor and powder, and then an angel, angel trumpet. So like as I said, the action gauge will now decrease even less, making it harder to fight. And later, in, and when those party levels go up, they become tougher and tougher. Don't get cocky. You're going down. Yeah. Oh, that was it. Huh. How was that? And that feels good. <clears throat> nice attack. 40 attack, skydiver. I did it. New move? Nope. So also even too when I got that new move, so I have like sun slash, I can switch now. So it says this one does 6 hits and it does takes about 2.8 seconds. If I want to do it like this, it's pretty much a light move, two hits, 1.6 seconds I'm using, but medium knockback, special attack that slices enemy in two. 
to me, I always like to go with something that does a lot of attack. Oh wow, Phantom Wave does that. So yeah, also like this, his is like a sh uh, photos thing, so you can take photos and see how good it gets, and you can actually sell those photos at shops. Or like this, you can get a fire shot and all that. To me, I'm fine with this being like that. Because actually, those can sometimes help the photos to actually, if you need to make more money. Will somebody please take care of that? <laughs> Your end is near. Say cheese. Oh. It's very hard to do that actually sometimes for me. I can't always nail that right on the pad. Nope, I just wasted that for that. That was pretty good. Nope, there goes my phone. Quiet phone. <laughs> so, since I took a photo, we will now check the photos. And for right now, it's just pretty much doing its best. I can't say it was the best photo or anything like that. What a pain. I guess I'll do it. There. I Look over here. Tear. Go and wash yourself up. Like some of these enemies you can defeat that quick. All right, let's go. And I actually don't mind doing that, like, taking on all their enemies, because, like it said. Oh, I'm gonna get in again. Nope. Don't Pretty good, huh? So we can check those photos that we took, that one photo we took earlier. And like it says, it's now... So like, see, that's the first photo we took. It's almost done completing itself. It just takes um, either battles or pretty much time. Take you out. I screwed that up. Are you gonna attack? You're gonna fight him. That's fine. I'll take that. What did you expect? So yeah, that special gauge is pretty good because the higher you get it, the more damage you can, and you actually can go way past 16. You can get up to I think 64 plus. I want to say maybe up to 64. I couldn't. I can't say exactly. Don't get cocky. You're going down. See, 24 now I hit. Let's go. Uh, I should have went in the shadows. Why didn't I? That's fine. What do you think? Fight you all because it gives me more XP. I guess I'll do it. And I need the XP to level up. What did you think? Oh, it's just the one this time. Oh, okay. That was pretty easy that time. Um, so like us Okay, so I think our one photo might be done. Let's see. Yeah. 
and they'll tell you what kind of rank it is. So this one is the rank C. It wasn't the clearest photo. So, yeah. And depending on the rank, it actually will... <sighs> will somebody please take care of that? Yes! <laughs> Phantom Wave! What did you think? So yeah, but like I was saying, that by the rank of what the photo looks like, you can actually pretty much get um, quite a bit of money. So if you got an A rank photo, that is good. I will say that right now. I actually should have went this way because there's a chest over here. And I will take. So, so that's a new weapon for Pete, but I knew I couldn't. Not going to make it. I think all the photos are done now, right? Nope, not done, not done, not done. C rank because I was shooting from behind him, so. You can actually just say, hey, I don't like this photo, trash. And say, oh, I don't like this photo, trash. This one, I will trash too, why not? So they're pretty much now gone, and you pretty much cannot use them anymore. But I think you can take multiple pictures if I understand correctly. Remember? Don't take all day! More than 12, that's there. Pretty Damn it. Huh? Level up, both of them. Level 6. Reto. And beats. Oh, I forgot to give him his new weapon too. Uh, beats new weapon. Just by two, not much. Oh, I also got uh, another copper bracelet, so I'll give it to Beats because he will probably take a beating because he's not doesn't have the best health and all that. Somebody please take care of that. Phantom wave. Nice, got him mission time. How was that? <laughs> You're really gonna get it. <laughs> Phantom wave. Your end is near. The detail is just amazing. I'm just going to take one photo for now. How was that? So I guess he changed because there was a light shadow that was on me. Don't take all day. I will say that. Phantom wave! Go and wash yourself up. I just got quick in there and a fight. So that way will lead me to where I've gotta go. This one should lead me to a chest then, right? Possibly? Maybe? Oh, it leads me to this person. My inner voice cries out to me to capture the paint, the full escape of its landscape. But the lush bounty of nature is more is more Lush than the imagine. I've almost used up all my green paint. Oh, okay. Okay, I didn't know that guy was there. Okay. Uh, and then there's the chest. Light guard um, outfits. So. So I'm going to give it to Beat so he can actually have a bit more defense. Because. Oh, uh, yeah, that's pretty much fine. Because his defense is yeah, it's average, but I need I'll give him that for now. And I'll fight you just for the funds with that. I'm supposed to fight this? Yes, you are. <laughs> Sun slash. Nope, failed that. I fired it off a bit too soon, but that's fine. 
That's fine. Beats there to finish it off. Finish off the job. Nice one, Beats. Uh, we will say because it's a boss fight, I think, coming up ahead, or maybe not. Usually when there's a save, it's usually, I think, a uh, boss fight's coming up. Uh, this one. But it's just me. Boss fight, boss fight, are we gonna get one? Maybe not. Oh, it is a boss fight. What is that? All right, let's go. Okay. Ow. Take a little few photos of it, at least. Ow. He did no damage to me, pretty much. Ouch, you lick me. Okay, really? You don't have to beats? Um. I don't think I'll Uh oh, that's a bad sign. Fail. Look up to the light shining down from the heavens. Sunflash! Did that scare you? So what happened there is because the how far it goes, if you get either 16, I think maybe 16 and above, but sometimes it's like 24, 32, or if you actually hit 64, it actually does more damage, like, and it'll do like a special thing. So that's why. And that's why you saw me level up. I failed that. I failed that. Failed. So Beat's going next anyway, so he can level uh, heal himself. Look up to the light shining I got a 32. Did that scare you? Stone sword hilt. So yeah, so yeah, if, I guess so. Yeah, if you hit 32 or 64 bit combo and you save it up to there, you're gonna get a, like a special thing. I yeah, because 64 I think is the highest you can go, if I remember correctly. And yeah, so if you have a character that has like great attack or his special can do really big damage, you or something like that, it's like you want to save it for that character. Right. On. Sometimes. But it's all up to you what you do in this game. Or how you play and all that. And it's like, oh wow, I should do it this way. <laughs> so we had two boss fights already. Holy. That was tough. If we don't hurry, we're going to get caught in the rain. Oh, that's not good. So what? We can handle a little rain. I mean, the hideout's roof leaks like crazy. <laughs> and that's just when it drizzles. Yeah, you got a point there. 
but still. Still, it's like you don't want to be in the rain all the time. Ooh, what's this? Raindrops. George Sanders, it is impossible to tell the story of Chopping's life without a mention of this woman. Oh yeah, there's, um, in this game, actually, we'll talk a little bit about, like, old stuff about this. George Sand was an extremely famous author in, in Paris, who was, who had already published numerous books. So yeah, I will do this at t certain points in the game, where I'll actually do, like, a whole thing. I'll talk about the France history and all that. Her real name was Ari Duvent, George Sander. I pronounced her name so wrong, I'm sorry about that. From 1838, Chopin would share his life with her for a long period, but when they first met, he commented to a friend, is that really a woman? Wow. San was somewhat muscular woman who wore pants and smoked cigars in public. Oh. Guess the way even her pursuing George Sander was masculine. Okay, mate, nothing wrong with that. She was unswelled by society and more experienced herself on fashion lead. lead. The romance novels she wrote were extremely popular. I bet they were. Of course, Chopin himself was also a famous as a pin. pin, pin Fuck, can't even say pi pi pianist, pianoist, pianoist, in Paris by this time. I couldn't say it. The relation between the genius pian pianoist, I can't even say, it, pianoist, and the popular author must sincerely be the talk of the town. It probably was. I can believe that. At the time, Chopin was not in the best of health, and perhaps the the attention paid to them by society er arrogant his condition so he didn't have the best health by I guess so and they didn't have what they have this time during the time San took Chopin to the Spanish island of Malarica, Malarica to allow him to rest I don't know I'm guessing that's how you say it Malarico? I don't know they avoid attention they left parents separated from Rendezvousing at a near village near the bullet border, near the border. They found a place to live on Maluko, and Champlain lived happily life amongst the palm trees, orange trees, and pomegranates. Maluko, Maluko, Maluka, Maluka. Chopin's health appeared to be, be improved, but the island entered its rainy season and the warm weather vanished. Ooh, that's not good. Chopin caught a cold that eventually led to repulse to of tuber cuts. I can't even pronounce that syndrome. Ooh, wow, that's not good. At the time... Tuber pronouncing was terminal illness, and Chopin and Sanders' landlord evicted them, fearing contagious. So he pretty much said, Oh my god, they have this. You gotta be evicted now. Wow. After being forced from their home in 1839, Chopin and Sanders arrived at the Valley de Mos Monastery. I solely said that wrong, and I'm sorry for that. I cannot pronounce words the greatest. And rain continued to fall outside. So yeah, I can't skip this. This is doing it by itself, so yeah. The sound of falling rain continued to increasingly the simple sound of raindrops blend together with the form of deary rhythm. I'm guessing there should be music playing, but ye yeah, I don't have music playing, so that's the only reason why. I think there is, I don't know. 
It was under these circumstances, circumstances, I can't even say it, that the song is said to have been born in a room of Validimosa. Validimosa. I cannot pronounce long words. Let's go with that. A work created by Chopin at the age of 29. Ooh, wow. 29. Ooh, wow. When he was not the greatest health. Wow. The journey to find rest ironically resulted in the worsening of Chopin's health. Ooh. That's not good. At all. I mean, really not good at all. But George Sander devoted staying stayed by the chop by chop inside never fearless infect infectation. So pretty much she said that's not a terminal illness. I'm staying with him. Or contagious illness. This d is the doubt that she was an invulnerable source of comfort for Chopin. She pretty much just stayed with him till the very end. What a lady. And done. Oh. Looks like it's finally started raining. Oh no, that's not good. You know, the rain makes the plants look even more alive. For Chinudo's flowers, the rain is a blessing from heaven. Oh, that's good. And we're going to save here. And we are going to end the episode there. Because, wow, that was over an hour. And we, so pretty much in this episode, what did we do? Uh, we met the, we went and seen the flowers with he, um, Frederick. Took on a boss. Just won by, just by luck. Just barely won. Then we went, after that, we saw the flowers. Found out it's somewhat not a dream that they're in. It's more like, is it a dream? Is it reality? We don't know. And then pretty much, oh yeah, I, forgot, but I totally remember the ending. I flip and hate it, I remember. Uh, but yeah, so don't worry about that, what I was talking about. But pretty much here, um, then we went and met Reto and Beat, who pretty much left the city to go to the fort, where also Polka and Frederick want to go to. They all want to pretty much lower taxes. Reto and Beat want to lower taxes in the city so people can buy blankets buy food and all that and as he beat said all the honey glazed bread and well Oka wants actually to lower the tax for fluorine powder because she feels like it's been taxed too much while mineral powder is not being taxed it's pretty much nothing for taxes and it's like why can't fluorine be the same as that because they're pretty much the same it seems like in her eyes or it could be well not the same but yeah so yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this another episode next time we'll actually see if the four character um polka and frederick actually meet Reto and get to and beat i was gonna say ghetto i don't know why it's just the rhyming i guess but yeah hopefully they all meet and maybe they can to uh, finally learn some new things and travel together so yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed this another episode of Internal Santir, and I will see you guys next time. When? I don't know. Someday soon, maybe.